Dob, we remember that the uh, bus station was supposed to be part of the failed Renaissance Square project at Maine and Clinton. It was going to link it with a new performing arts center and a new campus for MCC. Well, the Renaissance Square project never got off the drawing boards, but the bus station idea moved forward on virtually the same footprint with some modifications. One of the goals was to get buses off Main Street. Another was to give shelter to thousands of bus riders every day, especially in those cold winter months. Back in June, we got a look at what architectural firm Bergman Associates said was real-time video of the downtown site. Today's action is considered the final step in the approval process for this new standalone project. Bus company officials today also released new artist renderings of the downtown bus station, which is expected to, cre to create 400 construction-related jobs. When the transit center opens, these customers will no longer have to wait outside navigating city streets to get their bus. They'll arrive, wait, or depart indoors, safe, comfortable, and attractive facility. This is great news for RTS customers. It's great news for the community. As I've said before, the transit center is a game changer. It's going to change the way people view public transportation and use public transportation. The original plan under Renaissance Square called for an underground bus station, but that design was changed to above ground to save money. You heard the company CEO Bill Carpenter say this is a game changer, not just for transportation, but for downtown as well. Uh, downtown Development Corporation, Don, envisions the city creating as many as 300 new parking spaces along and adjacent to Main Street when they get the buses off Main. Now, that always helps. What's the overall timetable for the project, Ray? Well, right now it's a vacant lot behind me, lots of dirt and bricks and a few holes. They're going to start excavation next Monday, and uh, completion date is set for mid-2015. When the bus station is done, it will also be fully handicapped accessible. That's some good news there. All right. Ray Lovato, thank you. you know,